The Paleozoic era, beginning 542 million years ago and lasting about 300 million years, saw great diversity with several ice ages, evolutionary explosions, and multiple mass extinctions. Bracketed by the two supercontinents of Rodinia and Pangaea, the Paleozoic periods gave birth to many life forms, even some we still see today. Wedged between two ice ages, the Cambrian period began around 540 million years ago. During this period, there was a global warming trend creating rising sea levels which covered much of the land. The Cambrian climate was warm, wet, and mild. There was an evolutionary explosion, including the appearance of organisms with shells and exoskeletons. The most common fossil of the Cambrian period is the trilobite. Rodinia fragmented during this time, and land masses were located away from the poles. The Ordovician period, starting around 490 million years ago, was a time of great diversity and abundant marine life. The earliest vertebrates, such as the jawless hagfish, appeared during the Ordovician period. Evidence of the first primitive plants began to appear on what was previously a barren land. As Gondwana land formed and shifted over the South Pole, glaciers formed marking the beginning of another ice age which led to lower sea levels. This climate change caused the second largest mass extinction in history as shallow water life forms were deprived of their environment. During the Silurian period, starting around 443 million years ago, Gondwana land remained near the South Pole while North America and Europe straddled the equator. Climate temperatures increased, giving way to rising sea levels, allowing reef systems to flourish. Evidence of these developed reefs exists in Kentucky today. With no leaves or roots, the earliest known vascular plants, known as Cooksonia, appeared in the warm, stable climate of the period. Scorpions and millipedes were the common land animals during the Silurian period. Land masses during the Devonian period, starting 417 million years ago, began to shift. Gondwana land headed north, while the supercontinent of La Russia, comprised of North America, Northern Europe, Russia, and Greenland began to form. The warm, moist climate of the Devonian period allowed for further development of various life forms. The first forests arose during the Devonian period as plants able to survive on dry land developed. Known as the Age of the Fishes, the Devonian period spawned some groups still in existence today. Most importantly, the first truly terrestrial vertebrates, descendants of lobe-finned fish fishes, developed during the late Devonian period. Fish similar to the coelacanth depicted here gave rise to all four-limbed land vertebrates, including dinosaurs and mammals. Starting around 354 million years ago, the Carboniferous period, including both the Mississippian and the Pennsylvanian subperiods, was known for its lush vegetation, forests, and swamps. During the Mississippian subperiod, La Russia remained in a tropical climate where trees, mosses, and various plants formed organic debris called peat creating the world's first coal deposits while Gondwana land began another poleward migration. The mass vegetation present removed huge amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, creating an abundance of oxygen. The first amniotes appeared with self-contained embryotic environments. Insects diversified and some developed wings. The Appalachian Mountains formed in the late Pennsylvanian subperiod when Africa collided with eastern North America. Amniote vertebrates continued to evolve and diversify during the Permian period, which began around 290 million years ago. Pangaea formed, creating severe climate extremes. Reptiles adapted to the massive temperature swings, while bony fishes and squid-like nautiloids dominated the seas. The Permian extinction, the largest mass extinction in Earth's history, saw the demise of about 90% of marine species and 70% of land animals living at the time. Whereas the exact cause of the Permian extinction is unknown, it is believed to have been caused by the largest known volcanic eruption in Earth's history. The last eruption lasted about one million years, triggering rapid climate changes and releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Beginning with Rodinia and ending with Pangaea, our planet experienced many land shifts during the Paleozoic era. Organisms with shells and exoskeletons evolved during the Cambrian explosion, providing us with a fossil record of the time. 
the Ordovician and Permian periods experienced the first and second largest mass extinctions in Earth's history. Terrestrial life developed in the Silurian period, leading to the arrival of forests and terrestrial vertebrates in the Devonian period. Although the Paleozoic era began with an atmosphere low in oxygen levels, as vegetation flourished, oxygen levels increased, leading to larger and more diverse forms in the Carboniferous period. Finally, the era ended in a hypoxic environment during the Permian extinction, thought to be the result of massive volcanic activity.